In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Hi everyone, Charles here with you on a Friday morning. Well, I got like a million things floating around in my head. and <laughs> um, So what I'm going to do here is just do a news update of, I think I have four stories up. And um, so I was just going to put them all together. All right, the first one is this. The Vatican today announced that Pope Francis's widely anticipated summary document on the Amazon Synod will be released on Wednesday, February 12th. According to a statement issued on Friday, Quirida Amazonia, dear Amazon, Amazonia, the, po uh, the Pope's post-apostolic exhortation on the Special Assembly of the Synod of Bishops on the Pan-Amazonian region will be presented at 1 p.m. press conference at a 1 p.m. press conference at the Holy See press office. Well, that ought to be really something, huh? So that'll be next Wednesday. All right, next story. Pro-abortion globalist and U.S. citizen Jeffrey Sachs, uh, this guy is something else, attacked the United States at a Vatican-run conference in Rome, calling the land of the free and the home of the brave not only a problem but dangerous for its opposition to what he called the world's big consensus on economic issues and the climate. Sachs directly attacked President Donald Trump by name, saying that the U.S. problem became a far more significant problem with Donald Trump, adding that the U.S. will be absolutely dangerous to the big consensus if Trump wins re-election this year. Sachs was the keynote speaker at the February 5th conference on new forms of solidarity towards fraternal inclusion, integration, and innovation. Innovation, I like that. At the Pontifical Academy of Social Sciences. Okay, so that article goes on. I'll, I'll leave the links in the description box. All right, so here we have the Cardinal Bishop or Cardinal Large Bishop of the diocese that Fatima is in. And this guy, um, Cardinal Marto of Portugal, allowed five cohabiting divorcees to receive communion, quote, like any Catholic, unquote. Um, only after Fatima Diocese started programs for adulterers following Amoris Latitia. The couple got the first sacrilegious communion on May 13, 2019. Um, well, we know this goes on, but we need to be reminded that, um, um, you know, that um, this is against um, what Jesus said in three co Gospels that remarriage is adultery, period, you know, but they don't want to deal with that. And of course, you know, that was a concern of the four dubia cardinals, which, you know, they never got answered. So, um, so there's that story. And then Cardinal Mueller's made some comments here. And this uh, comment right here caught my eye. The Cardinal notes that the leftists in church and society, instead of responding to arguments, launch personal attacks against the critics. And boy, how true that is, you know. Um, 
and that's a sure sign of the enemy. That's exactly one of the hallmarks of the enemy, is not to, you know, calmly respond um, to, um, you know, to uh, inquiry or in, an argument um, against what they had previously said. You know, instead they just attack the person, you know, and this is just so much like the enemy. And, um, you know, uh, we, we see that over and over again. Although I, I don't know if I've ever really thought of it in this sort of way, but I mean, it, it's certainly, you know, very clear to me. Um, well, you know, there are lots of other stories up, but, you know, um, I think we'll probably just leave it there for now. All right, well, I'm, you know, I'm gonna, um, there's, there's so much going on right now. I, I know, uh, well, you shouldn't really get tired of say, saying the St. Michael prayer. Um, you know, because I, even if I make two or three posts a day, um, it's good to say it two or three times a day. But, you know, I, I mean, uh, eventually I'm going to make some other, um, you know, uh, other prayers to start off uh, the news brief. And I, I just haven't gotten to that yet here. I'm, I, I've been talking with Joe and he, uh, through the email, um, you know, about the... Um, the brochures and some other uh, other kinds of things that we're trying to uh, figure out here. So, um, you know, I, I need to get that straightened away as much as I can, um, as soon as I can. Of course, it's all going to be done in God's time anyway. So, you know, you know, God, um, I was at um, adoration this morning. Um, and um, I said something to the Lord, and he says, you know, you got to stop thinking like a person. You know, you have to think supernaturally. Um, see, I, I would, you know, well, I'm, I'm not going to take the time right now to explain all this, although it is interesting. Um, but, you know, sometimes... You know, see, I feel God is telling me to do something now that doesn't make any human sense to me, uh, you know, in an intellectual way. It's like, well, why would he want me to do that? But, you know, God measures things in, uh, in love. And, um, you know, so what, what doesn't make any sense in a human sort of way um, you know, can make a lot of sense to him. Now, I'm going to leave you with this thought. Now, this is a, um, <laughs> this is something else. Um, this is a dream I had some time ago, although in adoration this morning, God reminded, Jesus reminded me of, you know, this particular dream I had. And he, here's the dream. And, and you can think about it for a minute. It's, 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 it's really a very simple dream, and it's, it, it's pretty obvious. Um, I found myself in a, a kitchen of a, um, a restaurant, a large restaurant. And um, I, was, I was like looking at myself washing dishes. And I'm washing dishes, and I'm washing dishes. And God said to me, Charles, for every dish you wash, I will give you one dollar. And I started thinking like, wow, that's, this is a pretty good paying job. And I think the, um, the idea that God was trying to give me is you can do very simple things, um, you, you know, that have a great value to him. And, and we really lose track of that. You know, I mean, God pays very well for simple things done in love. Now, again, um, I remember at the time when I had the dream, I thought immediately of, um, is it this guy Bissette, um, a Canadian saint? Um, maybe I got the name all wrong. Um, but he, he used to, I think he used to work in the kitchen and then he um, got the job of um, answering the door you know I mean these are very simple kinds of things and um, 
you know, it's how you conduct yourself in your in life. You know, how you interact with people and conduct yourself. It doesn't really matter that you have like a simple job. Um, so I remember me sitting there, um, you know, just awake from this dream, uh, trying to figure out how much money I could make in a day by washing dishes. <laughs> And I came up with like four hundred dollars. Yeah, I thought, wow, guy's gonna pay me four hundred dollars a day for washing dishes. <laughs> you know. Uh, so, but you know, I, I think you get the point there. Well, anyway, here. Um, so we'll, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.